Amid rising security concerns over China's advancements in missile technology, the U.S. Navy is accelerating plans to deploy Patriot Advanced Capability 3 Missile Segment Enhancement PAC-3 MSC interceptors on its warships. This strategic move, reported by the Economic Times on October 25, 2024, is a response to the People's Liberation Army's PLA, ongoing modernization, particularly its development of hypersonic and anti-ship ballistic missiles that could evade traditional defense systems. The PAC-3 MSE interceptors, produced by Lockheed Martin, are already in use by the U.S. Army for land-based air defense. Known for their compact size, agility, and advanced hit-to-kill technology, these interceptors are ideal for countering fast, highly maneuverable threats, characteristics that make them suitable against China's rapidly evolving hypersonic arsenal. The PAC-3 MSE's direct impact capability, rather than relying on proximity detonation, gives it a unique edge against high-speed targets. Lockheed Martin is scaling up production to meet heightened demand from the U.S. military and allied forces in the Indo-Pacific. A new production line for PAC-3 missile seekers is planned in Florida to support this demand, supplementing Boeing's existing production capabilities. With these interceptors positioned on U.S. warships, the Navy's layer defense will become more robust enhancing the fleet's ability to engage threats from a range of altitudes and speeds. The U.S. Navy has already conducted virtual simulations with the PAC-3 interceptors aboard a virtual Aegis ship, utilizing the MKB-70 vertical launch system. However, before the PAC-3 can be physically deployed on vessels, further testing is needed to integrate it with the Navy's SPY-1 radar, a core component of the Aegis missile defense system. The virtual tests are promising, but achieving full operational capability will require synchronization with these existing technologies. China's arsenal, particularly missiles like the DF-21D carrier killer and the DF-26 intermediate range ballistic missile, poses a direct challenge to US naval forces in the region. The DF-27, capable of traveling up to 5,000 miles and equipped with an aerodynamic maneuverable warhead, adds complexity to defense strategies. This missile, among others, increases the risk to U.S. forces and moving targets across the Indo-Pacific. While the Navy's SM-6 missiles can target threats at higher altitudes and in space, the PAC-3 MSE offers increased agility due to its rocket-propelled nose, which allows it to intercept hypersonic targets closer to sea level. This added agility is essential for confronting advanced Chinese missiles, particularly at lower altitudes where the PAC-3 MSE excels. The planned integration of PAC-3 MSE interceptors into the Navy's arsenal marks a significant evolution in U.S. defense strategy, emphasizing a multi-layered approach against hypersonic and ballistic missile threats. The interceptors have already proven their capability in intercepting high-speed missiles, such as Russia's Kinzel missiles in Ukraine, showcasing their effectiveness in real-world scenarios. As regional tensions remain high, particularly in the Indo-Pacific, the deployment of PAC-3 MSE interceptors will enhance the Navy's ability to protect its vessels and personnel against increasingly sophisticated threats. The addition of these interceptors to U.S. warships reflects a proactive stance in securing maritime interests and countering the growing technological advancements in China's missile capabilities.